Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's Cat Class. Today we actually like to talk about something really fun online. If you go to the Google and type it Peppa Cura, then you're going to coming up a lot of very interesting image. What it is, is designer allow you to create your own paper model easily from the 3D data use 3D CG software. What we'd like to do today is we can actually make something really similar in Rhino. But let's take a look what other people make online. If you go to the image, you can see a lot of model. You can flatten out, become a flat piece, cut it out, add it together, glue it together. Then you can have a 3D paper model. It's actually really fun. So let's see how can we do this in Rhino. This is a cube in Rhino 5. We would like to construct this cube by the paper. The first things we need to do is type the command is called unroll. Unroll the surface. It will ask you to choose the poly surface. And then you will ask you if you look at the command bar, it will ask you if you want to explode it or if you want to labor. Let's say we want to explode it but doesn't want to have a labor. And this is what happens. It will make the surface into six surface, and then with this six surface, you can do the laser cut and then glue it back together. However, if the foam is getting too complicated, it's hard to tell which edge should go with which edge. So let's do it again. This time, we are going to make sure that we have a label. So you're going to see on this cube that number one edges here is number one edges here and here on the flat surface. So when you try to glue it together, you need to make sure you glue it number one to number one. Let's see what other option that we have. This time, We are going to use no explorer equal no, label equal yes, pick up our surface, and then we are having this surface. Now it's really clear, for example, the edges on the number 9 will go with the edges on the number 9. So once you fold it, you know which one you should glue it together. This is a simple form of the flat surface. Let's see what happens if we have any of the curved surface. An example right here is a sphere in Rhino 5. If I use the same command, unroll surface, and I click on this one, nothing happened. It's because the curvature, it doesn't let it happen unroll can only unroll the flat surface so we need to do additional step if it is any curved surface here's what we are going to do i'm going to turn this one into the mesh and i want to use a few polygons possible now if you look at my mesh and i zoom in a little bit you will see this angle right there that's how our paper is going to look. I'm going to use unroll surface and I try to click on this one. Nothing happened because now this is a mesh, it's not a surface. So we need to turn the mesh back to the surface. We are going to type it mesh to nerve. And then we're gonna click on this mesh. Then I'm going to move this surface back. And if we look at the property, now this is a closed poly surface. We're going to play with this guy. Now let's use unroll surface. Explore equal no, label equal no. 
and then we'll get this surface. That means if you cut the shape and glue it back together, you will get something in three dimension on the paper with this one. Now we have all the surface flattened out. We can go ahead and print this. And if the surface kind of bother you on the printing, you just want to have an outline, we can go to the top view and type it duplicate edges. And then you select all of them. Hit enter. While it is still select, we want to join all of them possible or, or group them. And you can move the curve down. This will be the curve you want to send it for laser cut or print it out and cut it by hand. I hope you enjoy the video and happy paper making. See you next time.